always be James and welcome back to another episode of Simply Survival. That is right, this is my solo survival let's play where I show you tips, tricks and tutorials and we do it in full survival. And of course, we try and do things the simplest way possible. So, in today's video, we are going to be making a 1.6 working Elytra launcher. This thing is super powerful and it is just as good as the old one. It is a little bit more technical to build, however, like I said, it is just as good as the old one. You are going to need a few more resources. Again, a full list of the resources you are going to need for this build are going to be located in the description alongside all of my social media. So if you do have any questions regarding this video or any other video, like I said, the best place to get me is on the Discord. However, if you do not have Discord, you can always add me on the Twitter or the Insta Jam, and I'll be happy to get back to you there. Um, one more thing, basically, like I said, we are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Again, um, if you haven't already, do be a solid, hit that subscribe button. It would be super, super epic to get to 50,000 subscribers. I mean, you guys are complete mad lads. Crazy gals and lads. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, let's just not waste any more time and get on into today's video. Again, um, I'm just going to, like, do, just mess around a little bit first. So, if you do want the tutorial, go to the time on the screen right now. And, um, yeah, let's just get on to the video. Bam. Right, so, first thing first, what I wanted to do, I've got a friend for Ezekiel, right? Look at this guy. I've called him Carlos. He's not got a name yet. He's a bit dangerous. But, I totally want him for Ezekiel. I mean, Ezekiel seems a bit unhappy. Ezekiel. Oh, he didn't hurt me today. Okay, you can have chicken today, Ezekiel. There you go. I did say we're going to take you on a walk. But, oh god, I'm sorry, Ezekiel. There you go. I've got your friend. So, we need a boat. I'm thinking a boat. Maybe that's like the best way to go around there. Oh, I've got a boat. Oh, fantastic. See, I was prepared and I didn't even know. So, we're going to break the trap doors. This is dangerous, by the way, guys. This content, yeah, is dangerous content we're doing today. So, um, again, definitely, definitely worth subscribing. Right, let's try this. Right, we got to get this guy in a boat. Oh, how are we going to move the boat? Right, we'll come to that bridge when we cross it. Let's go. <laughs> right, let's go. So, right, we've opened this one. Now he's fully hostile. Ah! Oh! Yes! <laughs> yes, see, it wasn't as hard as we thought. And we have got to the bridge, so now we're going to cross it with water. Let's do this. Go! No! Oh, my signs didn't fall off the floor. Epic. Let's grab those trap doors. Come on, Carlos. Carlos. I think Carlos is a good name. I like Carlos. Come on, Carlos. Go down there. Whoa! Where'd my water go? Oh, nice. Come on, man. He's nearly there now. Oh, God. I forgot. You can't get too close to Carlos. He, he is dangerous. More dangerous than Ezekiel. Right, we're going to need a name tag for Carlos. Alright, you can stay there for now. Let me just get get you a name tag. This may be a little bit difficult. Carl. Should we just call him Carl or Carlos? Okay, so we're going to go. Carl. Carl. There we go. Okay, we called him Carl because I just don't know how to spell Carlos. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Right. Here we go, Carl. Yes! Good boy, Carl. No! Carl! God's sake. Oh, I'm all the way at my village of Reno. Right, I'm going to get back to base. And I'm going to be back. Right, Carl, that's naughty. Go over there, Carl. Get over there with the Z kill, man. Right, no more time wasting now, guys. Let's go and make this Elytra launcher again. Let me put my armor on. And um, I've got the box that we actually need. Do I need anything else? Um, I don't think so. Again, remember, guys, the list of uh, materials you are going to need is going to be located in the description below. So, of course, the first thing that you are going to need is obviously find yourself a, um, a decent enough location for this Elytra launcher. So, um, I'm just going to do it where my old one was. Um, I don't know if you guys remember... 
Let me just show you. Oh, God, of course, it's night time. So, um, yeah, let me just um, go to bed. And then, yeah, I'll, I'll go uh, to that location. All right, guys, so this is where we're going to be building the Elytra launcher. Again, I've got my um, materials down. I'm just going to throw anything I really don't need in there as well. So, um, one more time, remember, the guys, the, the list of materials are in the description. Um, do not forget to go down there and have a little look. So, the first step is very, very simple. All we are going to want to do is grab um, some pistons and some soul sand. And basically, we want to place two pistons facing upwards like so. In addition to this, we can then go and place our lever on a piston we're not going to need that right now but um it will come in handy um very soon all right so the next step that you're going to want to do is grab your trap doors and also obviously your soul sand on the opposite side to which you placed your lever you're going to want to go ahead and place a piece of soul sand um on that top piston just like so in addition to this you are going to want to get on top like so and you are also going to want to place a trapdoor on top of that piston only one not two um again you can just remove that one and then you can go ahead and open it just like so so it should just look a little bit like this okay so now what you're going to want to do is grab your solid blocks of choice and we're going to build around this soul sand like so so basically we want to just come on top of the build so you're going to have three going up like so you're going to want another two just there like so in addition to this bring all of this up each side like so and of course you want to bring the front forward like that and it should look a little bit like this that's looking reasonably good and of course you can remove any unnecessary block okay so next step you're going to want to come on top of the build like so and you want to remove these blocks just here leaving these three empty spaces then we're going to go ahead and fill all of these blocks up like so and basically yeah we just want to like fill these blocks up like that and we want the bubble column to be there as well so that's exactly what we're going to do so on this block we want actual a water stream to come here so we're going to place a block and then go ahead and remove it like so in addition to this we're going to go ahead and place a trap door on top of there so the water stream goes underneath the trap door that's exactly what we want now what we can do is place three holder blocks and this is just going to help us drop some sand in so now what we actually want to do is drop our sand in the um, amount of sand you put in is the height that you're actually going to go for this. So I'm just going to put 64 in. Again, if you put more in, you can go all the way to high, um, well, uh, sky high, and it, it'll be basically in one second. So yeah, basically now, as you can see, that's going to get trapped under the trap doors. And we're just going to go ahead and place all 64 in, and I will be back. Okay, so now I've got all 64 in. You can go ahead and actually remove these blocks just like so and we can actually get on to the next step okay so this next step basically we're going to want to go back on top like so and basically we want to go ahead and push another trap door on top of this sand so we're going to go ahead and place a uh, piston just like so we're going to put a trap door there um, again it doesn't want to be a sticky piston just a normal piston i'm going to go ahead and use a button but basically you just need to activate this push it and it should lock those into place like so. Again, you should have it three quarters over this trap door and just a quarter over this trap door. So now you can go ahead and remove this piston. So the next step is a little bit spicy. Basically, what we've got to do is quickly remove this trap door and then press this lever as quick as possible. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. And if you do that right, you should uh, end up with something that looks a little bit like this. And once you've done that, you can actually go ahead and remove this lever and piston. You do not need that on this build anymore. Okay, so the next step is a little bit tricky. Well, it's not. It's just you've got to make sure you get this right. Else it will all go wrong and you'll have to do all of those steps again. See this one just here? The one, oh, oh god, no, we don't want to place that block like so. Um, basically, you see this one just here, right? Um, the one where it's more like on it. We, we're going to open that and we're going to go ahead and destroy that. You want to make sure you destroy that one, the one that was three quarters over the sand. Um, if you destroy that one, it will just everything will just go wrong now. So make sure you destroy that one. And then what we can go ahead and do, basically, we want to come on the edge, the empty edge, and we're just going to jump here. We're then going to open it so it's open like so. Just double check we got it in the right way. And we're going to go and get another piston and place it this way. Let me go ahead and destroy that one second. Um, we want to make sure we get this right, of course. 
Let me just make a little bridge up. And, of course, like I say, we want to make sure we get this going in the right direction. So, of course, when we open that now, it should look a little bit like this. All right, so what you can do is go ahead and put a lever on the side of that piston like so. Then place three more blocks on the sides of that. Again, I'm just going to build a little bit out like so. We're going to remove that middle block. Super easy, super simple. Now we're going to need some redstone, and we're going to throw just a piece of redstone dust on top of that piston just like so and that's looking good okay so i made a little bit of a mistake basically we're going to want a observer facing with the face facing downwards so how we're going to do that i think to actually achieve that we can just get it on next to the piston so obviously we're going to need to grab our observer first of all like so um, and I'm fairly certain if I stand on top of the piston and crouch space downwards, it will face the right way. Yeah, like that. And that is the exact way that we're going to want to face it with the red dot facing upwards. And we can get on to the next step. Okay, so the next step is to simply place a bell um, on the observer just like so. Now what we can go ahead and do is place a couple blocks um, parallel to that piston like so and we can actually go ahead and remove that block just there and you know what I'm going to go ahead and remove these blocks just make sure you don't remove any blocks that are supposed to be there I'm just going to remove these for now all right so now you're going to want to go ahead and place a block here you can remove this top block which is underneath that piston go ahead and grab yourself a redstone torch and place that just there you'll hear a little ring from your bell and just to finish this off, let's go ahead and grab a piece of redstone dust and just literally jump up there and place that there like so. And now we can actually go up and place that block on top of that observer, which was there before. So let me just go and replace that. And we're going to crowd space. There we go. So now it's looking good to go. Just a few more things and we should be all set. Okay, so you can actually remove like these blocks on the corners. These are not actually necessary. And um, what you can actually do is throw yourself a button. Of course, we're using the new 1.16 crimson button. So we're going to place that button just there like so. And that is looking nearly done. We just got a few more things. Okay, so now we're just going to do um, a little few more things to the back. We're going to need soul sand once again. We're going to remove this block like so. And, of course, we're going to remove this bottom block, which will obviously show our soul sand. And this one, basically, is the one we want to replace with soul sand, like so. You want to do that reasonably quick so you don't get no spillage. Because, of course, we do not like spillage on this channel. Okay, so basically what we want to do with this piece of soul sand is push the soul sand in. So, to do that, we're going to need to obviously place a piston, um, like, facing it. So, we're going to need my pickaxe. Let me just grab that one second and there we go we can destroy that and like i said we want a piston facing it again you may need to stand on a holder block like so it will definitely make things a little bit easier so we're just going to remove this right now remove this and then we're going to get our lever and push that in like so and of course we can go ahead and remove this now because we no longer need it so what you could also do is just have a little bit of a clean up at the bottom as well like removing these blocks you won't need those there anymore um, i'm fairly confident you don't need these ones here as well you know just to make it that little bit smaller i wouldn't go ahead and remove any more just to be safe and that should be the farm complete. So to use this farm, basically, you are going to need a way up and down towards those trapdoors. So what I'm simply going to do is, you know, make myself a little path so I can just leave it there. Um, like all the time. And then basically, we're going to want to go inside this trapdoor or on top of the trapdoor, should I say. So we're like in so half inside the sand, half inside the trapdoor. And basically, we're going to look at this button. And when we press this button, we should... Um, actually get launched up in the air like so and again it is so so powerful it's a really really good design again i did forget to mention the original creator um at the start of the video so this is the actual guy again a massive shout out to him these things um should not be possible in um 1.16 however yes we can still do it and this one right here is super awesome so again we're just going to go in to the sand so we can see the button um, and as soon as you can see the button, you're just going to get launched up. Uh, remember, guys, you're going to want to make sure that you uh, wear your Elytra. 
and that pretty much sums up this video we have got a working 1.16 elytra launcher that is correct again that is the end of today's video if you have enjoyed this video please let me know by smashing the like button again if you are going to use this in your world please let me know in the comments below um, again if you got any builds you would like me to build in simply survival again let me know in the comments and like i said that is literally the end so i will catch you on the next one.